Now the next program in shift register is 4 bit serial in parallel out shift register. Here we have taken 4 flip flops FF1 to FF4 and all of these are simultaneously connected with preset, clear and clock. Here the input is serial. So we have to give the input to only first flip flop that is input D and output is parallel. So we have taken the output as Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 which is acting as parallel output. The main point here is that Q1 is acting both as output from the first flip-flop as well as input to the second flip-flop and it is also acting as an external output. Similar is the case with second flip-flop and the third flip-flop. So these three outputs are also acting as inputs to the next flip-flop and the output of the last flip-flop is acting as a simple output. So in this case what we will do is that we take Q0, Q1 and Q2 as buffer and Q3 will be taken as out mode. Another thing is for Q0, Q1 and Q2 we will take an array which is of uh, total 3 bits so 2 down to 0 and Q3 will be taken as an output of single bit. So now the program is entity serial in parallel out is port preset clear clock and D. These are acting as inputs standard logic and all of these are of 1 bit. Next is Q. It is acting as buffer as I have told you earlier that it is acting as both as output as well as input and these are also the external outputs. So we have taken it as buffer standard logic vector 2 down to 0 because the first three outputs are also acting as inputs. So we are taking these three as buffer and total bits are 3 and the last bit is acting as output. So Q3 is acting as out standard logic then end entity. Next is the architecture. Architecture, name of architecture of binding entity is begin, then process and in the process we are having preset, clear, clock and D. Then begin. Again as we have done in case of serial in serial out shift register and parallel in parallel out shift register, if preset is 0 and clear is 1, then here the first three bits will be 1, so Q will be acting as an array, so 1, 1, 1 and in double quotes. Next statement is Q3 which is also equal to 1 but because it is of single bit so we are taking single quotes. Else if preset is 1 and clear is 0. So in this case the output of all the flip flops will be 0. So we have taken Q is equal to 0, 0, 0 an array of 3 bits in double quotes and Q3 will be acting as 0 in single quotes. Else if preset is 1 and clear is 1. Normal working of flip flop and clock is 1 and clock tick event. In my earlier programs I have taken clock equal to 0 and clock tick event which means a positive triggered flip flop. Here we have taken clock is equal to 1 and clock tick event means the initial value of clock is 1 and its value is taking a change from 1 to 0 means negative as triggered flip flop. So in that case Q of 0 how we define an array Q of 0 Q of 1, Q of 2. So because these three bits are acting as an array, so we have taken Q of 0 and the input D will be moving on to Q of 0. Q of 0 will be moving on to Q of 1, Q of 1 will be moving on to Q of 2 and Q of 2 will be going to Q of 3. This is in a similar manner as we have done in case of serial in serial out shift register. Else null, and if, and process, and architecture. Thank you.